and welcome to our final in the story sequences uh, three-part series that I've been doing uh, here and I guess today we are looking at the access framework that's going to be the focus of what we're looking at and what this will do is it helps you uh, not only connect more deeply uh, with your most aligned client but also ensures that they can transition to the next stage and that's what we're really looking at with this um, access framework now i'm doing it in the context of um, an automated email sequence but you can do it in other parts of your marketing as well but today we're just going to focus on that automated email sequence because that's the third part um, of our story sequences that we've been talking about so with the um with the access, I guess it's about giving access to you, to your service, and so that's how we use that. Now, the A, uh, each of the letters in access stands for the email that needs to be written. Now, A in access stands for, um, uh, for aspiration or problem, and we dealt with that one back in last week's call, so please go and look at that one. But that's um, the aspiration or the problem and actually delivering the thing that we promised we would deliver on. Now the first C in access is cause or why. Um, we hear it so often, but um, the Simon Sinek quote, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it, is so important. And it's one of those stories that allows people to really connect with who we are and why they would wanna do business with us. When we share our why story, why what we do is important um, to us and why we've been called to do this, um, what the motivation or the catalyst was behind us um, doing this business or doing this product or this offer, people get drawn into that and it allows you to open up a little bit so that, um, so that people can come in, you're giving them access to you. So, the first, so that first C, uh, cause or why story. The second C is, your, is their current belief system. Now there's different types of belief systems that people have but generally a good way to think about it is when you go through a sales page, you get to the buy button on that sales page. What are the stories that come up in your head? Now you need to put yourself in the shoes of your ideal client and figure out what stories are going on inside their head. Now three different types of um, beliefs, belief systems when it comes to these type of stories. Uh, one is internal stories, one is the external stories, and one is industry stories. So to give you a bit of a um, example of an industry story, uh, one of my clients um, is a, a light worker, and one of her belief, or one of the beliefs that her ideal client has, is that all healers are like Tony Robbins. They have a more aggressive approach, um, and for her and her ideal client, um, they don't want to go down that path. They don't want healing to look like the way that Tony Robbins does. But of course, he's a big personality. And so he, um, often people tend to uh, look at healing and that's the way healing is done. So for her, it's overcoming that um, objection that people have and showing them that there is a different way. Um, this is my approach and the way that we can do it is a more gentler approach, um, particularly if you're dealing with you know, X, Y, Z um, challenges in your life. So that's really important for her to overcome that belief or they're never going to push that button and want to commit to her. So what we're doing is by the time they get to uh, you inviting them to work with you, you've already overcome some of their core beliefs of why they don't want to do business with you. So think about those sorts of stories um, and you can craft, uh, sometimes we have more than one, so you can craft more than one email if need be, but generally you'll go with the biggest, um, biggest roadblock to someone wanting to work with you. Now the E in access is for endorsed, endorsement. So this is where we need to be adding social proof through either, either testimonials or case studies. And case studies are so powerful because it allows someone to see what sort of results you can get for them. They wanna know what the transformation is going to be. Now a little tip with endorsement stories or case study stories is not to always look for the client with the most wow factor uh, transformation that you've had. It's so actually to look like look for the client who is most like the people that you want to attract and who have the result that your ideal client most wants to have. So we need to actually connect in with that. I've had, for example, 
clients who have had um, amazing launches um, and you know we've done 250 million dollar campaigns um, you know launches in the, the high six figures there's all these sorts of case studies that I could tell but when I look at my ideal client and for some of the programs that I have there's no match there because the ideal client feels like um, the people that I want to work with feel like that's too far removed from where they are now they want to get there sure but they see that as too big of a jump and unrealistic for right now. Their goal is a little, looks a little bit different. And so I will find a client whose goal um, and results match where they most want to be. So think about that when you're doing endorsements. I know it's hard sometimes you want to just do the biggest um, and the most um, spectacular looking result. Um, but go back to who the ideal client is and what they care about and what they're going to read and go, oh my goodness, if she can do it, I can do it too. The next one, there's two S's of course in access. Now the first one is soulful service story. We want to be able to tell a story that um, shows what's possible in their life. Um, some other things to think about is how, you're, how you can be of service to that person. So don't think about it in terms of sale, think about it in terms of service. How can I be of service to these, um, to you know, the people I most want to work with and how can I show the possibility, what's possible in their life? This is a great place to share that story because, uh, and then obviously inviting them to work with you. Now there's one more S in access and that one is just a simple sales email. People appreciate when you just tell them what you want them to do um, or what you'd like them to do. So uh, just ask, let them know that this is what I uh, would love to offer you. This is how I would love to work with you. Um, come through, click this button, come to the, um, the sales page or the order page or whatever it happens to be in your particular marketing funnel and, um, and let them know that you're open, uh, you know, open to working with them now. Now some people use different types of urgency and I know that a lot of my ideal clients uh, feel uncomfortable with some of the types of urgency that's created out there to try and encourage someone to take action now rather than putting it off till later. You don't have to use icky urgency. You can use a more natural type of urgency, which could be that you have a bonus um, that you know uh, you want to do for a limited time. Um, so that could be a way to do it. Or you can just use particular language. So that might include um, letting someone know that, you know, what happens if you don't take action now? Where are you going to be in 12 months time? Um, that's another one. There was another one I wanted to share. Um, even just telling them um, why taking action now is a great idea. Um, if you take action now, then you're doing X, Y, and Z. Or this is a great time of year to be doing it because of uh, whatever it happens to be. So there's other ways that you can do urgency without having to do um, countdown timers that go down to zero and then go back up to 15 minutes or three days or whatever it happens to be. You don't have to do all that. Um, fake stuff if you don't want to. There is some more advanced things you can do um, with depending on your email marketing system that means that timers can run out and stay run out if you want that to happen um, but for the most part if you don't have compl complicated or complex sorry systems then um, just keep it with language. Um, tell them why now is a great time to take action. So that's access. Um, you know, the A of course is um, aspirational problem, C is cause or why, the next C is um, current belief system, E is endorsement, S is soulful service story, and the final S is simple sales. So that's the, um, the soulful uh, storytelling that I wanted to share you. And the more stories you can tell, the more open you can be. Um, even being a little bit more vulnerable in your marketing can of course allow more people in. Now if all of this still feels a little bit overwhelming or you're not quite sure where to start then um, please reach out to me if you'd like to some help on actually crafting those emails because there is a format that I use as far as the structure of what goes into each of those emails then I'll reach out and I'm happy to um, maybe do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with you for that. If you want your entire marketing uh, system set up or your marketing funnel set up then I can do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you on that as well. And it depends how long we work together, depends on how far you are 
advanced already with systems in your business. But that will go from everything from how do you attract people, what is that traffic piece that um, uh, gets allows people to be aware of who you are and what your offer is. Then of course the opt-in offer that, in, that um, brings them into your community and something that's of high value and that they're willing to exchange their email address for. And then we have um, the nurturing email sequence that um, helps invite them to work with you in, um, in that last stage. And then there is a final piece, which is, of course is the sales page itself, which interestingly takes some of that access framework and uses it inside of the sales page. So a lot of the copy that you create for this then gets leveraged through to your sales funnel. It can also be leveraged through your social media and your marketing that attracts people. So if you have any questions, please reach out. I'll put a link here as well to my uh, coaching page so that if you do want some help to get this set up, uh, you know how to book in a session with me. There's plenty of times um, for next week in my diary. So um, yes, uh, please click through and I would love to be able to talk to you even if you're not really sure if this is the right option for you. Um, we can at least chat to see where you're at. So thanks again for watching and I'll come back with more videos in the coming weeks but I hope you've enjoyed this series and good luck with your story sequences. Thanks a lot.